we rely heavily on our members, our program participants, donors, and community leaders to work alongside us to strengthen our communities. I don't know if you realized or not, across the U.S., there are more than 230,000 people that have volunteered at their local YMCA. And for those that have been a part of a YMCA, a great part of what we do and how we operate strongly relies on the participation of our volunteers. And so last year, again, I won't make you all go to the annual report, but I will tell you that um, we had, there were 3,478 volunteer hours that uh, were completed last year, and we had over 240 volunteers in 2021, so we thank you for that. Before each of our directors comes up, and you guys can start to come up to begin to recognize uh, your volunteers, before each of our directors comes up, I would like for those of you that uh, are a part of our board of directors or board of trustees, would you mind just standing briefly? Board of Directors, Board of Trustees. Thank you. So in addition to the, the program volunteers, our board members, as you know, really work to um, keep our Y operating and to ensure that we will be here um, for many years to come. As you heard the work of those that uh, started the endowment all of those things were led by volunteers, not by Y staff. And so we want you to know how important and how critical volunteers are to the YMCA. And I think we are going to start um, with Stacy recognizing your volunteers. <laughs> Always first. Um, just want to thank everyone for coming tonight. It's, it's wonderful to see everybody. Um, just a couple tidbits about aquatic department and uh, to the extent that we rely on our volunteers. Uh, some of you know this, some of you don't. Um, our exercise classes that we offer in the pool, there are two, only two, that are taught by staff. Um, the rest are all taught by volunteers. So without those volunteers, we wouldn't have all those extra classes available. Um, our swim team, uh, let's be real. If you, anyone not been to a swim meet in our Y? Um, there's maybe four people working that meet that are staff. The rest are all volunteers. They're parents that come out, they time. Uh, they go to training to learn uh, how to be an official and they officiate. Uh, they help us score. They uh, prepare food, bring food, and uh, serve the food um, in the concession area. Uh, so many uh, areas in the, in the pool where we actually rely on our volunteers and I'm super, super grateful to every single one of them. Um, I do have four people here tonight uh, with us that are volunteers in my department. I want to start with Ms. Elsie Campbell. Um, are we having them stand or come up or just have them stand? Okay, so Elsie, my love Elsie. Um, Elsie teaches our HydroFit class. Um, we had held off on HydroFit when we came back from the pandemic. It was the last class I brought back. Um, and wow, I, I think the first day we were back, we had 16 people in it. So um, that is a wonderful, wonderful class, and everybody's super grateful to have it back. And without Elsie, we wouldn't be able to do that. Um, I have two swim team parents. I have Natalie and Doug Peterman that are here tonight that I'm sure you've done a little bit of everything, but um, timing, concessions, uh, very grateful for them to help us with the swim meets. And then finally, I have Miss Kathy Sanders. <laughs> Kathy's been with me for a long, pr pretty much since I've been with the Y. Um, longer. Longer. <laughs> she has been a volunteer of the year. She has been a Leo Cullen Award winner. Um, and I'm super grateful to still have her around. She makes my job easy. So very, very grateful uh, for all of you that are here tonight in aquatics. And uh, for all the volunteers that are here. Thank you so much for all that you do. And we couldn't do it without you. So having said that, James Butler for uh, <laughs> Gotta bring it down a little bit, sorry. <laughs> uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Jade Bafo and I'm the child care director. Um, so will all of my volunteers for child care please stand? So I do have a couple here. I know that you're, you're around. Yeah, I see, I see a couple here. Thank you, Grace, yeah, yeah, Elizabeth. 
Gary, Kathleen, Jenny, like all my people, all the directors basically. Um, but thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your creativity and passion to help kids. Though we have held only a few events so far, I'm super grateful for all the memories that we have made along the way. They say you never forget your first, and I will never forget our first Healthy Kids Day, Parents Night Out, and our Daddy Daughter Dance that we put on this previous year. It is because of all of you that we make these events so special and memorable, and I'm forever grateful. Thank you. Now it is Jason's turn. For everybody who doesn't know me, I'm Jason Ike. I'm the Health and Wellness Director. I'm also in charge of the Turkey Trot. Uh, that's a huge endeavor, a uh, massive event. Brings a lot of money to our YMCA, so we're, we're, we're really excited. Last year, we actually were able to have an in-person event. I know I talked to uh, it, it, uh, Brian a little bit ago, and we were really excited to have you guys here tonight as well. So we, that was a tremendous success for us. Uh, that, that, that event doesn't happen without volunteers. It's, it's, it's a huge undertaking. And I have a few volunteers here tonight. So I'd like to have Ashley Ike stand, and Amber Fichter, and Kristen Armstrong. <laughs> So these three guys, and also Jenny Dallas, our executive yes. assistant, helps. And I couldn't be able to do it without Kathleen Johnson. She always does our shirts, and she does a fantastic job. So that's all I have, guys. Uh, the congratulations to you guys, and thanks to all of the other volunteers. Now we have Kathleen Johnson. So I get to bring up moral support with me here. So hi, my name is Kathleen Johnson, and I'm your membership and marketing director. And by my side is our YMCA gymnastics coordinator, Leo Poland Award E from 1982, and a 50-year member of the Y, Nancy Smith. So thank you. It's our pleasure to honor volunteers who have served in the departments that I have the pleasure of being part of. These are the Marketing Committee, the Member Service Center, Membership and Special Events, Child Watch, Youth Sports, and with the help of Nancy, I now get to be part of the Gymnastics Department. Um, in 2021, our marketing campaign highlighted the slogan forever. Forever thriving, forever here for their success, forever here for you, forever moving forward, forever together, forever giving, forever adapting, forever caring, forever connecting. And so we honor our volunteers in that continued theme. We are forever grateful for all that you do. Your, your intelligence, your passion, your intelligence, that was for you, Percy, for your passion, your drive, your patience, and your love for children, members, and the why in this community. Forever grateful, I definitely am. I cannot imagine doing this without you. So please stand as I honor you for your kindness, your courage, and your compassion. With us today are our volunteers from tonight from the Welcome Week, Jaden Chester Boffo, the Dallas family that's represented by Jenny tonight, Daniel and Elizabeth Sickinger, Emily Springer, who is with us for Welcome Week, and Gary Hammond. Volunteers for the Marketing Committee, the one that's with us tonight is Percy, so thank you so much for that. And volunteers for Youth Sports, Donnie Henning in the back back there. And I will turn it over to Nancy to take over for gymnastics. First of all, thanks for uh, including me on this special opportunity to honor our amazing volunteers. Um, you know, it was just a couple of years ago when I remember going to my first volunteer me, uh, Oak Awards banquet in the old gym at the old Y. And they lined us up on chairs, and we got all dressed up, and we sat on the chairs and sweated for like, it seemed like 10 hours. And we <laughs> called our name, and we came up on a little stage and came back, and then I think we had dessert or something afterwards. Uh, Jane knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> but um, we got all dressed up, and the feeling was just, oh, it was just such a night. You know, you just were overwhelmed with how special it felt. And now tonight, I hope that all you volunteers know that you're very special. You're a very special breed. You're the kind of people that give us unselfishly of your time and your talents, and you help our wives succeed. So I tip my hat to all of you. Thank you. Now, as far as gymnastics goes, I cannot thank my gymnastics volunteers enough. They have, we have been in a, a rebuilding stage and none of it would be possible if I didn't have the volunteers to come help teach classes, uh, the team members that came and helped, the fundraisers they helped with, 
the people that stepped up and helped fix our equipment and rearrange our equipment and keep our maintenance up on equipment, the people that gave donations so we could have update our equipment that was like forever old, and uh, the people that just gave us support. Um, and even though our instruct some of our instructors are paid, most of them, uh, all of them, gave more time and volunteered more time and effort that they never put down for, for hours, and so I'm very uh, grateful for all of that. I'm pleased to say that many of our instructors and our spotters are past gymnastics team members, and some of the parents are still hanging around. Okay, once it's in your blood, it's in your blood. Okay. Some of these are uh, kids still in school, and some are parents, and they have their children in the program now. Um, I feel that our program has achieved the Y leaders' pledge to come to learn and return to serve. So with the, all the gymnastics volunteers that are here tonight, please stand. My whole table over there. <laughs> we have Zella Nanskoy, she's on our team right now and she helps me teach preschool classes. And then we have Evan Neiman, and she used to be on the team and now she's busy with high school stuff and school calls come with school stuff. And uh, she comes back and she helps teach our regular classes at our preschool. Then we have Lily, who used to be on the team, and she now helps teach all classes, and she, and she helps coach, too, and so does Heather. So I'm very thankful for you girls. And all the other ones.